On behalf of my colleagues at the Association of Community Cancer Centers and Northwestern University, it is my privilege to present our survey research analysis, which evaluated resource and reimbursement barriers to comprehensive cancer care delivery. In terms of background, we know that comprehensive cancer care is recommended in guidelines and required by accreditation bodies, such as the Commission on Cancer. Barriers prevent consistent access to and delivery of comprehensive cancer care, including insufficient reimbursement and lack of appropriate staffing. Community programs often have limited access to philanthropy and similar funding to make up for expenses as they provide these essential services. ACCC therefore conducted a representative survey of its member programs to elucidate the capacity and barriers to providing comprehensive cancer care, as well as with the hope to inform policy and value-based payment reform. The methodology included item generation with expert review and iterative piloting and cognitive interviews. The survey was first piloted at the 2018 ACCC annual meeting and then sent to member programs via email. The final survey included 22 questions and the analyses were conducted with simple frequencies and SAS. 172 of 704 ACCC member programs responded and completed the survey as of October 7, 2019. The respondent program demographics included safety net providers, participants in the uh, Center for Medicare and Medicaid Services Oncology Care Model. It also itemized geographic locations as well as the percentage of annual adult new cancer patients that were seen at the centers. Insurance coverage types included Medicaid, Medicare, commercial private payers, the uninsured, and charity care. Our results showed that deficits in reimbursement are partially compensated at our centers by patient out-of-pocket payments, grants, and donations. Of the 27 comprehensive cancer services, there were services for which there were no billing codes. And the table itemizes some of the select services uh, and the degree the services were offered and reimbursed. Most centers needed more staffing in critical services as itemized on this slide. And also importantly, gaps were observed regardless of region or practice type. In conclusion, there is a lack of sufficient staffing, reimbursement, and budget to provide comprehensive cancer care across the United States. Oncology care models and reimbursement policies must include comprehensive cancer care services to optimize delivery of care. Over 50% of cancer programs reported that for six services, there was no billing code, and for additional services, there was limited or underutilized coding. Survey responses demonstrated that programs are not receiving reimbursement adequately and in some cases cannot offer these essential services. This analysis is not complete. We are collecting additional responses to the survey. There is a need to estimate the cost of providing these essential services to include appropriate use of codes which are currently available as well as to calculate costs for services that are not currently reimbursed to develop uniform strategies for payment reform. Cancer care centers will need to generate data to inform their true personnel requirements and costs as such with development of external partnerships to systematically link patients with services they cannot provide. Thank you for your attention.